Good morning, everyone. I am going to do my April Currently Inked, and I'm excited for it. I don't know if you will be able to hear it throughout the video, but it is pouring outside. It's been pouring for the last two days, which actually I love, and it's been really nice. <laughs> so let me see if I just be quiet if you can hear it. Yeah, anyways, I love it, but um, I did not have the energy to clean off this whole space. It's early in the morning and I just wanted to get this done, but I thought it would also be kind of fun, interesting to see that I have been printing out like so many things because I finally was able to get a printer and I haven't had a printer. I don't think I've had my own printer for my whole adult life. I've had like printers for work when I worked from home like years ago and <clears throat> Obviously I've had printers at work, but I've never had my own printer. So I got the Epson 8500 inkjet um, ink tank, I think it's called. And this ink is supposed to last for a super long time, which I can attest I've been printing a ton and the ink level hasn't gone down at all. They're not cartridges. It's like a bottle that you um, kind of empty into the machine ink spot. And yeah, it's so much cheaper to repurchase those inks to refill it when and if I do need to because it's supposed to last for two years and I've been printing every single day and it hasn't gone down at all so I'm super excited about that and I've just been printing a ton of things like I um, became a Patreon of Erin Ware so I printed out this particular sheet which I love several times I printed some um, like funny uh, gifs I don't know that I thought that I would might want to use in uh, journaling at some point. Here's another one of those sheets that I printed out on different type of paper. And then I also um, bought a couple of Illustrated Faith printable sets and I have printed those out as well. Um, as well as just like other things like on Pinterest, um, little cute little pictures. So yeah, that's been really fun. So I've been doing that and I have that all over my table. Then I've also been working on my A6 like memory keeper, which I will do a flip through of, but I've been printing like actual photos, which is so cool. I've wanted to do this for so long. And so yeah, I've been able to do that. Here's the printer. <laughs> so that's here. And then also my next journal, once this one is full, is going to be this, um, Hobonichi, it's the half year, the touch of the Abek cousin um, from I think 2022. And so I've been working on setting that up a little bit. And then this is the journal I'm currently in and um, I'm almost done with. I only have about 30, no, maybe like 50 more pages. And so I thought I would do my currently ink in here today. This is the OG Tomai River paper. Um, the Wonderland 222 website still has some books that have the original Tomoy River paper, which is really nice, and I like it a lot. The only thing is I wish the grid size was a little bit bigger, but I am getting used to it. So anyways, I digress. I didn't really want to go into too much of a long intro, but I just thought it would be fun to show you what's on my little table here. And oh my gosh, I also got this cute cup at Hobby Lobby yesterday. Obviously, I cannot turn it. Oops but um, maybe if I just set it down, it's better. But it has like this cute little moth illustration and the inside is pink and I just love it so much. I have a mug fixation. Most of my cups are mugs. <laughs> so yeah, I really like this one. And it was only, I think $4 because it was 40% off and I just love it. So I thought I'd share that. Um, these are some of the printables from Illustrated Faith that I decorated this page with. So. Let's do my currently inked. This is what I'm working with this month so far. I haven't been like super inspired to like try a lot of new inks or ink up or unink a lot of pens, which I normally am. So that was kind of surprising. But then this week I did have a little burst of inspiration and inked up three pens with different inks because I only had probably like seven pens inked for a week or two this month because a lot of them had run out and then um, I just didn't re-ink them with anything. I wonder if I could find, yeah, like at one point this was all I had inked. 
but I, there was even less than that at some point. I wonder if I could find the... I think this was the original March inked. So this one ran out. This one I uninked because it was almost gone and I was just kind of over it. This one I combined with another color to make a new color this week. This one I actually created after my last Currently Inked to match the stickers in my planner that week. <laughs> this one ran out. This one ran out. This one I uninked because I just wasn't really inspired to write with it. This one was almost gone and I uninked it. This one I ran out of and I re-inked this pen with a different Monteverde ink because I wanted to try it out. Uh, Cafe Crema ran out, Oxblood ran out, Seasons Greetings ran out, and I still have this one. So I used up quite a lot of inks last month, which I was really pleased with. Um, but I do still have a lot of inks from last month as well. So let's just finally get into it six minutes later. This is the Twisby Diamond Mini with um, the same ink that it had last month, and you can see that it is almost out. But I am still really loving this color. And I still think it's like so pretty for spring. It flows so incredibly well in this pen. Um, it's just a, really a pleasure to use. So it's Pilot Aroshizuku Suit Suji. And this is the Twisby Diamond Mini. Uh, white rose gold and it's a fine so oops oh my gosh I'm so sorry that one is still really well going really well this next pen is the Jin Hao 82 in the coral color and um, this one is the it okay this cartridge is the one that I had the orange mix from last month in, but I wanted to make a coral pink, kind of to match this actual sticker. Um, and I did it the other day because I had that sticker printed out on a, this page right here, much bigger. And I was like, oh, I wanna make something that's kind of like in this color family. And so I, uh, this was the ink originally, the orange, and then I added a little bit of, um, Yamabuto, like a drop, and then I added a little bit of Bucks Fizz, and then I added a little bit of more of Bucks Fizz, and this is what it came out to. So, um, yeah, I'm happy with this color. I was really inspired by flowers, I guess, the last week, and I just wanted to make some inks that remind me of flowers. So, this one I called my Dahlia mix, and so. That's just what I'm going to write it on here because I honestly do not remember the proportions or anything of the inks that I put in here. Um, and this has the medium Goulet nib on it. And yeah, I really like that one. Okay, next I still have the yellow Jin Hao inked up. And... This had the Monteverde Lion, which again did run out in the month, but it still, I didn't clean out the um, converter or anything, and I just added a different yellow ink, and I really like the way that it looks as well. This one totally looks like this daffodil illustration. So I love that. Like, look how perfect of a match that is. Um, so that's why I'm calling it the daffodil. <laughs> But it is a mix of um, Monteverde Lion, which was just a tiny little bit left, plus Diamine Honey Burst. And I've had Diamine Honey Burst sample for so long, and I just haven't used it, so... I think it's a really pretty yellow. I think the lion like uh, darkened it up a little bit, which I like. Um, and maybe made it a little bit wetter because I kind of remember this one being a little bit dry, but this is very wet. So loving that one. 
Okay, I have two new pens this month that I've got both of them last week and I'm so excited about them both. The first one is this Asveen uh, V126. This is supposed to be a Pilot Custom 823 quote unquote dupe. Um, it has the same body style. Obviously, I don't think the 823 comes in this colorway. This is frosted clear, but it's also a vacuum fill, which is my very first vacuum fill. I've never had one before, so that's been kind of fun and interesting. And I really, really like this pen. It has, I love the finish of it. It's like super smooth feeling, almost like kind of like a soft kind of smooth, like I don't know how to describe it, but I like the shape of it. I love the way it feels in my hand when I'm writing. I love that it has like the gold trim. There are a few different colors in this, um, but the nib right out of the box was super smooth. You can post it when the, the vacuum plunger is all the way screwed in. I don't find that I have to unscrew this like most times when I'm writing because I'm typically not writing like that much with it. But yeah, I really love this. I feel like it's so nice. And just the nib is like really, really a good nib, nib for, you know, being, uh, well, I think Asveen has a really good reputation and this has a lot of really good reviews, but like Gin House, like you can get good nibs sometimes and bad nibs sometimes. And maybe that's the case with this too, but this actually feels like the smoothness of a Pilot. I'm sure the 823 feels much better, but Pilot has just that very signature smooth nib and this is very, very smooth as well. So anyways, I digress. This is, the ink is KWZ Green Gold number two. This is one of my favorite like spring greens and I don't even think I've used it since last spring slash maybe early summer. Um, so I was really excited to use that again and it's a very wet ink too. So, um, And this is the fine nib and it's clear frosted. The only thing is, this does hard start sometimes at the beginning of a stroke or the beginning of a letter. Like you could see that H, like it hard started a bit or skipped a bit. And I don't know why it does that. I truly don't because obviously the ink is flowing well. The nib is very wet. So I don't know why it does that. Maybe if anybody has any ideas or how I could fix it. It's not irritating to me like to the point of not wanting to use it it's just kind of like huh I wonder why it's doing that but really really liking this pen and the ink combination then I wanted a just like true kind of primary green for spring and so I inked up uh diamine Merry and Bright, which is from the 2023 ink event. I typically do not gravitate towards this kind of color. Um, I don't know why, just I like different kinds of greens more, like olive greens or this kind of, I don't know what you would even call that, bright spring green. Um, but I don't know, I saw this in my cupboard and I was like, oh my gosh, I really want to use that. So I did, and I'm really, really liking it. It has a, I think it's a silver shimmer, and it's working really well in this Twisby medium diamond. Um, and yeah, I feel like I'm loving all these brighter colors for spring. So the next one is another ink that I haven't used in a really long time, and I just barely inked it, um, but... This is the Pilot Kakuno, and the ink is Vinta Carnival. It's a standard ink, no shimmer or anything like that. Just this really pretty, like very light teal, I guess you'd call it, or turquoise maybe, but I've had this sample for a really long time too. And I think the pen that I had used it in before, I think it probably was like one of the Jin Howe 82s with the extra fine nib that I had in the beginning of my pen journey. And um, I remember not really loving like the way that this worked in the pen. I just felt like it was too light. I remember thinking it was dry. 
Now I don't think it's dry, but I definitely like it in this cocoon. Next is the um, Caveco Sport in Iridescent Pearl. And I wonder if this is leaking. Look at that. What's happening? Yeah, it does seem to be leaking a bit in there. Okay, well, I'll have to clean that out later. I feel like this happened last time too. Um, and this is inked with another ink vent ink from last year. And it is Velvet Emerald. I just, I guess, was really feeling the greenish, tealish family this month, <laughs> this last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I really like that color. Next is one that I am carrying over from last month, and that is the Twisby Diamond 580 with Ferris Wheel Press, Edwards Gardens. I'm still absolutely obsessed with this ink and pen combo. Um, I had this filled. I had just put a little bit in it originally to try it out, and then I refilled it. And it has about, I want to say, half, maybe a little less than half. Um, I don't know why it keeps hard starting. It normally doesn't do that. Twisby Diamond 580 in Smoke Rose Gold with a medium nib. It's just like such a juicy pen and this ink is wet and I just love that color of teal and I love the shimmer in it. It's just really, really, really pretty. Okay, I had Diamond Safari in this, which was the green ink and I just, I'm so kind of like irritated with this pen because it it feels dry to me and I don't know why. And I don't think it's really the ink. I think the ink can contribute, but I just think this pen, something about the nib and feed is a drier writing pen. Um, and especially if I'm writing more than like a paragraph, it'll really feel like I'm like, it's dry. It's just dra dragging. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna put an ink that I know is super wet in here. And um, so far, I've been liking it a lot better. I like this ink, and for some reason, Wearing Gold Path, which is a shimmer ink, so it doesn't even make sense, that one also flowed really, really well in here. It did not feel dry ever. But this is uh, Roarer and Klingner Verdigris. And this was one of my favorite inks last year. It's just this really, it's supposed to be, I don't even think it's considered a teal. Like on the website, it just says it's a blue. But for me, it leans a little bit teal. And I just have found the two Roar and Klingner inks that I've tried have been really wet. And um, I love them for that. <laughs> so yeah, this one is working well in this pen. So I guess I'm just going to have to be mindful of that when I'm inking up this pen because I want to want to reach for it, but I just didn't like with the Diamond Safari and other inks that I've had in here. Okay, and then this is the Twisby Diamond Iris, and um, I loved the ink that I had in here last month so much, which was the Journalize Alfaba, which is actually a very similar color to this, but it had a lot of shimmer in it. This ink I made, oops, let me... This ink I made trying to create a dupe of Diamine Ink Vents One More Sleep, which was from an ink vent a couple years ago. And I think I did it. I mean, I don't have that ink, but I think from what I've seen online, this is very close. So this is a mix of um, Diamine Early Dusk. And Jacaranda, which are both ink vent inks from 2023. And then I did add a drop of two other drops of inks. One of them was Roar and Cleaner Cassia and the other one I can't remember just to darken it up a little bit. So it's not purely these two, but 
this was the large bulk of it. So I called this my iris mix because it looks like an iris flower, doesn't it? And it's in my iris Twisby. <laughs> so it's in the Twisby diamond iris with a fine nib. And I'm loving that. So pretty. I really am like into this blurple color lately. Okay, let's move over to this side. I have this purple Pilot Kakuno, which was my very first Pilot Kakuno that I ever got. And I originally had a fine nib on here, but I swapped it out for a medium. And this is... Sorry, it's kind of hard because this is like the thinner side of the book. Okay, this is Diamine Jacaranda from last year's ink vent. And I think it works really well in this pen. Look how perfect that matches. Like that's really, really perfect. I love that. And it flows well. Um, I, I think my initial impression of this ink was that it was on the drier side, but in the Kakuno, it feels really good. I still have the Roar and Queen Mercassia in my Twisby Eco. It still has a good amount. This is leaking a little bit around this edge. And tell me what I need to do to fix that because I don't know. It's not super bothersome. Like I don't even need to clean it every time. I just can't put my fingers right there. Um, and it's not like gushing out either into the cap. It's just like a little bit of leakage. So I don't know. Roarer and Klingner Cassia, which is another perfect match for the pen. And I love this Twisby Fine Nib. And I love this color for spring. It's so happy. Okay, we have another carryover. This still has a lot left in it, partly because it's an extra fine nib, so it comes out a lot less. And also partly because I haven't been reaching for it that much. But it's a mix of Ferris Wheel Press, Spadina Rose, and KWZ Brown Pink. And I don't know why I haven't been reaching for it. I think I think it's because it feels slightly dry just because it's an extra fine, even though I do really like this extra fine. But I just prefer like the wetter pens and inks. But I still like this color and I still want to continue to use it. Okay, and then we have my Twisby Diamond 580 with the extra fine nib. And I had this one inked with Monteverdi Chameleon last month. And I remember saying like, I think this might be my forever pairing because it just flows so well in this extra fine nib. It feels really wet. And so anyways, I finished that ink and I was like, oh, let me try another Monteverde ink because those are like super wet inks. And I had also gotten a bottle of the Monteverde Moonstone, which is one of my favorite like cool toned light browns. I love this. It's like a brown gray, I guess, but to me it's much more brown. And it just reminds me of a mushroom. Every time I'm writing the name of this ink, I almost write mushroom instead of moonstone. <laughs> but um yeah, it's also perfect in this nib. I just love it so much. And I like with this particular extra fine Twisby nib, it sounds like a sailor. Like it sounds like it has that feedback. Listen, I'll just be quiet. Hopefully you could hear that, but yeah, but it's also like super wet for this nib. It doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel too fine. So yeah, Monteverde inks for the win in this pen so far. And then my other new pen, which I'm so excited about. Oh my gosh, is my very first real big girl sailor. <laughs> um, I have two of the other sailors that were steel nibs, the Fashine and the Sailor Shikiori that's just the steel nib. They were like $30. I got those very early in my journey of fountain pens and they're both fine nibs and it's just, they're way too fine, like way, way too fine for me. Um, so I was like kind of 
shying away from trying a medium fine because I thought it was also going to be way too fine. Um, but I wanted to and had the opportunity to get a nicer, you know, higher end pen this month. And um, I really wanted to get a gold nib of some kind. And these were just like, it was just a too good of a deal to pass up. It was $70 on Amazon, which normally I believe Pro Gear Slims retail for like two or $300. But for some reason, some of the, some of the Pro Gear Slims are being sold on Amazon for like 70. And I think it's just because of like either overstock or I read some explanation on Amazon that said the gray market. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm so happy about it. Um, <laughs> so it is a 14 karat gold nib. Um, and it is the, it's called Famous Moon is the colorway. So it's just this milky kind of translucent white. And it has these very, very fine gold sparkles throughout it. I hope you can see that. So beautiful. Um, now I can finally truly compare the Pro Gear Slim to the Jinhao 82. The Jinhao 82 is... I wanted to say it was a little bit taller when I compared them the other day, but maybe it's not really. Oh, sorry. Um, it obviously has a different like band around here. Uncapped, it is... I feel like the Jinhao 82 is slightly bigger. That's what I noticed the other day. Um, and let me zoom out. So when it's posted, no, I guess they are basically the same. The cap of the Jinhao 82 is a little taller than the cap for the Pro Gear Slim, but they are very similar, which is just crazy. Um, I feel like this is slightly heavier than the Jinhao 82, but that could be my imagination. Anyways, the writing experience is worlds, worlds, worlds apart. I am in love with this pen. I am so in love with this pen. The feedback, the medium fine is not too fine. It feels nice and smooth and wet writing for the tip that it is. I did get a Sailor ink to go with it because I wanted to try it, you know, with its companion ink. Not that the pen came with this ink, but like it's a Sailor ink and it's a Sailor pen was what I'm trying to say. And I've also been wanting to try this ink for a long time and it is the Sailor Yurameku, which is the line. And the shade is Suki Gokuro. And it's crazy because this ink comes out more teal looking and then dries to like this dirty green, which I really like. I like both colors. Um, so Sailor Pro Gear Slim and it's Harvest. Oh, no, sorry. It's not Harvest Moon. It's Famous Moon is the colorway. And it's a medium fine 14 karat gold nib. So I want to like, let me do a little swatch over here so you can see how the color changes. Hopefully you can tell, but this is like a dark grayish teal and then it dries to this dirty green kind of brown. So obviously it is a lot finer than my other nibs, but it doesn't feel dry. It doesn't feel wet. It feels so good. I love the feedback. I don't know if the gold nib just feels amazing to me. And I fear that I want a lot more gold nibs now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really, 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 really excited about being able to get this pen. I'm really thankful. And that is all my pens. So I have like quite a few less inked this month than I normally do, but I'm quite satisfied with what I have going on here. I don't feel like I'm missing any colors. Um, yeah, I feel good about this and I like the overall palette. I think it's going to be a nice month to play with these pens. So I feel like I was very rambly <laughs> this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know your thoughts and I hope everyone has a wonderful April. Bye guys.